Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to episode two of Tales of the Albums on the Wall. Uh, as you saw in the intro, I'm covering all the albums that I have that snake around all the way down to there. Um, we're going to hit album number two right now, and that is The Plimsolls, self-titled. This is their debut full-length album uh but i didn't get into them on this album i actually got into them on the ep before this uh which is called zero hour it was an independent release i had been listening to rodney on the rock plimsolls were guests in the studio they played a couple songs from the ep and i was blown away so i had to go out and get it i actually ended up buying it at a place called baker's banquet and i think it might have been buena park but it was on beach and ball and uh for for years you know that's where i used to go get like beetle related stuff because uh, they had all the boots and and uh, used beetles and i used to pick up bad finger albums there and stuff so when uh the plimsolls came out with their debut uh ep or mini album i guess you should call it uh which has that cover uh i bought it like i said within a week of um them being on ronnie on the rock i fell in love with it and then of course what a year or so later comes their self-titled debut album the cd is called plimsolls plus because it's their self-titled album plus the ep and a couple other tracks such as live b-sides uh, there's like two live tracks i think dizzy miss lizzie and hush hush and then there's a instrumental version of when you find out which is a nerves song uh that peter case uh, when he was in The Nerves, uh, he was a member of that band, and they did that song, but the Plimsolls do an instrumental version that's added to the CD. Anyway, Plimsolls are one of the best-known power pop bands, and I have to admit, I call them power pop all the time. When you hear a song like Now, or Great Big World, or Hush Hush, uh, songs like that, they're very obviously a power pop band. But if you really listen to the Plimsolls, really get into them... I think a lot of people are going to realize that they're they lean more towards um, R and B's like '60s R and B, Stax, um, Tamla type stuff, uh, Motown uh, influences. So sometimes it's hard for me to justify them as a pure power pop band, although their best songs, their biggest hits, uh, the ones I mentioned, plus um, Million Miles Away, which came later, uh, those are the songs that really people identify the Plimsolls with. Uh, so, of course, they fall into that uh, category. But if you really want some, you know, chunky, great guitar uh, heavy uh, songs that are influenced by some of your favorite 60s bands like the Kinks, the Beatles and stuff, plus a heavy dose of soul and, and uh, R&B from the 60s, then the Plimsolls are definitely a band for you. That is the Plimsolls. It's a fantastic album. To, to this day, Now is not only one of my favorite quote-unquote power pop songs, but it's one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, and still one of those songs that you hear and you're instantly uh, uh, brought to a place that's filled with uh, beautiful, wonderful clouds and cotton candy and joy and happiness. And that's what I feel when I hear stuff by the Plimsolls. When people start arguing about power pop, what is and what isn't power pop, and they have these certain limitations, you know, power pop needs to be this thing inside this little box. Well, guess what? I'd say maybe half or maybe two thirds of the Plimsolls material doesn't fit into that because it's more R&B. Uh, but that's my opinion. Uh, what do you think? The Plimsolls, self-titled, um, you know, you can get that on vinyl. You can get the Zero Hour EP on vinyl, or you may have to look a little harder to find the CD. Uh, but anyway, that's it. Um, are you a fan of this album? Is this something, uh, I mean, what do you think? Do you think that they're just a pure power pop band? I stated my opinion. I'd love to hear yours. Thanks for hanging out with me and talking about the albums on the wall and uh, more episodes coming up where I discuss albums and why they're so important to me. Uh, and the Plimsolls is one of those albums. Until the next time, smell you later. Waiting longer.